Kanye aside, everyone, it's Jeremy with Slinger Media again, aka Morocco High Boy. Uh, I am here today actually starting to break down my engine. So today's day one of engine is on the stand itself. We moved it in the rain uh, with Brandon and Kendall and Mark. Thank you guys for your help. Uh, but we have a KA24DE. It uh, does have supposedly built internals. I definitely would suspect so whenever we pulled it apart from the transmission, uh, we discovered it had an aftermarket spec clutch uh, as well as an aftermarket flywheel. So, uh, I mean, if there's any kind of good indicators that there might be some other good goodies underneath there, uh, I mean, that would definitely be one of them. Uh, for me, this motor is a full circle motor for me. It, earlier on in life, it was owned by one of my close friends. Uh, that friend had issues with it roughly here and there, but at one point in time, it did have some glory days where it was running real strong, making some decent power. Uh, since then, I mean, it's transferred owners a couple of times. Uh, not too sure what all has subsided with it. Uh, originally, whenever I first was going to pick up the motor, I was going to do a compression test. However, I was instructed that it would be a better option due to the fact that the starter is off uh, to actually wait until we mat it back together with the transmission and then try and compression test it. As well as since it's been sitting for a while, a friend of mine who is a engine builder, aka Brandon, uh, him and his family have worked on motors for years and uh, he mentioned to me about going ahead and doing some ATF fluid. Uh, so I'm here today to go ahead and get started by uh, labeling some hoses. I'm going to go ahead and get it removed so I can go by AutoZone and pick up some hoses for it. Uh, as well as I'm going to go ahead and remove the spark plug so we can go ahead and put in that fluid uh, and eventually try and crank it over by hand. Uh, as well as we're just going to kind of inspect it over and see what all we can find. So uh, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off here and I'm going to get the camera set up and kind of rotate this over to where you guys can look over my shoulder and uh, work alongside me and I'll kind of explain some things as I'm going along. Or at least the best I can. Again, this is my first time taking any kind of motor really I can't say apart. Uh, again, I'm not doing a full rebuild or tear down on this, but I am doing a bit of a refresher. Uh, the ending results of all of this is that I do need to look at getting a new turbo as well as I need to figure out what EC I'm going to run. Uh, with that in mind, let's get started. So I did want to go ahead and stop real quick uh, to let you know I am sitting in uh, Mark's garage right now still and it is freezing outside so you may see some smoke coming from my mouth uh, but nevertheless uh, so far I haven't done much all I've done is just take out the spark plugs and upon just taking out the plugs themselves uh, every one of them looked actually pretty good and also very much so fairly new. Uh, needless to say, they were covered in oil as well as these end pockets uh, on the plug wire themselves were kind of oily, which I think that's a pretty normal thing, but of course it's something I'm going to need to research because I am not a motor expert. I am a noob as well as this is my first turbo motor, so uh, five 240s and a couple of different variants of single cams and dual cams. I'm um, finally going to go ahead and try and uh, make some turbo noises, some choo-choo sounds, and. Uh, see what it's like to have a little bit more power and um, 
I'm excited right now. The only thing that I'm going to be looking at doing this evening though is uh, still kind of inspecting the block. I'm going to be pouring in some ATF fluid here into the spark plug holes so that way we can take this crank, which I actually went out and bought a Duralas one, what is this? A one inch, a one and one sixteenth inch uh, 12 point here. And it's a Duralast one. I got it from uh, AutoZone, like eight or 10 bucks. Uh, but you know, it is a perfect fit for the crank. So uh, hopefully we can kind of get it cranking over. And my goal is by the end of tonight to at least have the ATF fluid in here sitting so we can start breaking it up to rotate it and uh, hopefully get a few more of these hoses off and labeled so that way I can start taking them up to AutoZone and uh, getting matching pieces so that way I can start that process as well. Uh, other than that, I'm um, we get back to it. Essentially what happened was there's a little hose right here that I couldn't get off. I tried to cut it with scissors, I know, judge me all you want. But I couldn't find a razor blade at the time, so finally I just kind of stopped, took a break, found a razor blade, came back and cut that piece off. Uh, the engine harness here, uh, I'm actually going to pick it up real quick. So this part, okay, pretty much back to about right here. And some of these little bits were kind of tucked in through the intake manifold. Of course, some of these lead to like the injectors, uh, a few other sensors that go for like, you know, the ECU and temperature readings and airflow readings and such. Uh, however, the main part here that I'm also kind of concerned about is this end. Obviously, if you've owned a 240 or if you've done a, several of these swaps, uh, you obviously know what this part is. This is uh, where you get connected to your ECU and it goes all into your floorboard. Uh, I'm a little bit worried because there's like <laughs> some butt connectors here and then there's some splicing in over here and uh, speaker wire. Yeah, uh, looks like this might be about 18 to 16 gauge speaker wire. So yeah. Uh, anyways, I wanted to pull this out of it so that way I could try and take a look at it and just kind of re-clean it up, you know, make it look a little bit neater, maybe get a, uh, a nice covering to it and everything. Uh, other than that, I mean, there wasn't really that many other hoses to pull off. I'm still kind of looking here. I mean, there's a uh, oil refeed uh, line over here, which I do believe this is for the turbo. Uh, but this is the one other hose that's on the side of the block and I do believe I want to replace this with an AN fitting. Uh, so I'm going to kind of leave this one alone I think. Uh, there's some more tubes on the back side I need to get to but for now I'm going to stop because I do need to change my battery. Once I put that new battery in we will be right back and uh, getting that back side off. Alright guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you've made it this far, please go ahead and hit the like button right below as well as feel free to hit the subscribe button as I plan to start releasing videos at least once a month of me doing something either with my car uh, or going out to events and such. Plus I have the podcast of Car Ramble that'll be coming up with some more videos. 
Uh, I did want to go ahead and say the current status of my motor is that it is still on the stands at this time. I haven't really gotten out to get an ECU and everything just yet. The uh, only thing I have ordered right now is just the uh, exhaust gasket manifold, so the 7 layer ISR one. Uh, other than that, I just wanted to say thank you to Mark for the place to work on my car at. I do have some more footage of me working on my car itself, uh, as well as we're going to probably do a quick drive video and some other things here down the road, but I won't spoil too much for you. Thank you for watching, and uh, stay safe until next time, guys.